In this training video, we're going to look at general journal lines for Microsoft Dynamics NAV. First, we're going to look at payment and receipt journals with application, currency, and GST, and then look at other journals, general journals. Whatever deals with bank should be entered normally with cash receipt or payment receipt. Payment receipt is for vendors. We enter document type as payment, Sele select the vendor. And let's start very easy. We put manually an amount put the bank as a balancing account and simply post it. Okay. Now the problem here is that we didn't indicate which invoice we paid. So instead of doing that, it's better to apply the entry that is to say so we go to the apply entry icon and we select the invoice so let's just select one and the amount is indicated we post it So we just selected one um, invoice. Let's now select multiple invoices and so on apply entry you can select multiple ones and the total amount showing here is retrieved. We can as well let's say if we pay two vendors by EFT at the same time, instead of putting a balancing account, we can create a second line for a second vendor. Do the same. Apply entry. Multiple selection. And because we did just one bank transfer, we can use a third line for the total of the bank so that we'll only have one entry at the, in our bank that will make our reconciliation easier. So for the total amount. Let's now have a look at currencies. So we select a vendor and you can see here the currency code is defaulted. That's because this vendor has uh, a currency code. So we apply the entries and amount LCYs refer in the local currency here in Australian dollars and we can change it directly or here or we can go in the currency code and adjust the exchange rate one or the other. As before we enter a balancing account for the bank and we post it. Let's do another one with a vendor that by default we don't have a currency code but we can still enter it here. Enter the amount that so amount in US dollars, amount LCY, amount in local currency and the bank and any losses or gains are automatically calculated by NAV. 
Let's now look at the GST component. So we create a similar example where we would pay something in foreign currency euros here we adjust the exchange rate so let's say if we select the bank if we were to select the one in a euro we wouldn't have any um, bank charges so instead of doing that we're going to select another bank one in local currency and what we receive is not three hundred and sixty dollars let's say we just receive three hundred and fifty dollars and the remaining part is bank charges so we enter on the same document a third line no currency code just ten dollars and there is a GST component in it so in the third line we feel the general posting type and GST business and product posting groups. You can see the GST amount is calculated. If you were to repay a vendor, so let's put an amount here, minus for credit, if we try to do it like that, we get an error message saying now the amount must be positive. That's because the document type should be changed to refund. So anything that relates to bank normally goes to payment or cash receipt. Cash receipt works in the same way as the payment journals for money coming in. Any other things you would use general journals. So for example, let's say that we received some money from one customer, but we did it, uh, it was wrongly inputted. So that's $100 we received but it should have been received from this customer instead of the 1000 so we can reclassify our typical use would be to use GL accounts a provision for example Okay, and let's do just a final one and we want to reverse one amount. You can click on ledger entries to see what's in it. So we want to reverse a minus 3000. So we want to put plus 3000, which is debiting $3,000. If you use dimension, you can use one of the columns or the icon dimensions.